I am here, yay. Yes, okay. Would you imagine that to be possible? That it can just happen like that sometimes, but just... It's like you're just not on the mailing list one night. But it's frustrating because I'm expecting things to just go from strength to strength. And then just one day, nothing at all. Which is, it just doesn't seem right, does it? Oh, right. And I don't know who you are, actually. That's somebody new there. I got the notification bell on. It says uh, Phantom. Thank you very much. Purple Plum the QT 3324. Okay. Oh, <laughs> ah, yes. Okay. Purple Plum the QT. That is an interesting name. We'll do that again tonight, actually, some interesting names. So, uh, as we're starting again here, I've got one like, I'm going to go for, I'll give myself a break tonight, okay? Uh, I don't mean that a break is in, I'm not going to do very long, but I'll go, I'm going to have myself a, I'm going to allow myself a beer if I get to 15 likes. Does that sound fair enough? Does that sound like I'm asking too much? No, it doesn't, does it? It sounds like I'm being rather reasonable. It sounds like I'm not expecting too much at all, and I'm not, that's why. Oh, hang on, more people here. Oh, oh it's gone already. Ah, oh, right, I see. Girl Dad cooking up delicious. Nurse, what's up, everyone? Everyone in the kitchen, what's cooking? Well, now we're cooking some um, mints that was left over from the other day. It's going to be... Well, it's going to be another kind of curry-ish thing. Now, I made a, I made a, a madras mm -hmm. out of the mince the other day, and it was, it was nice. It was nice. But I think it was possibly just a bit too complicated, which does sound a bit strange really, when you consider the amount of different um, flavours that you normally would have in a curry. Tonight, I want you to do something really, really simple. So I'm going to stick with, let me see, five ingredients, I reckon. So, ingredient number one is mince, high fat mince that, you know, has enough oil of its own to actually cook itself in, an onion, garlic, that's three, and four will be the uh, madras powder. Can I really do it on four? No. No. If I had um, a green pepper, I'd put that in. But I've got some green chilies, so I'm going to put some green chilies in. And not only some green chilies, maybe, maybe a bit of ginger. You can't beat a bit of fresh ginger. Fresh ginger is just, just the, the doggies, the doggies, dangly bits. It really is. If you don't use fresh ginger, you don't know what the doggies dangling bits are all about. And I suggest learning about what the doggies dangling bits are all about, and you'll find out just how useful they are. Well, they're not really useful, but are they any good? Yes, they are. Um, me, me, interception controller. I'm big, back and better than ever. What's your tattoo, asks uh, Maxine. It's just a design that a friend of mine did. That's all. That's all it is. Let's get the ginger as well, then. Ginger. Get the ginger, ginger. Ooh, ooh. Oh, here we go as well, actually. Rather than tin tomatoes, are actual tomatoes. Again, nice and simple, a bit of tomato puree. And I mean a bit, not a lot, just a bit. That's all sort of pretty much well cooked there and cooked well enough so that I can actually use some nails with it, such as chopped the onion. But um, I'm going to do the garlic first. And again, lots and lots of garlic, not just a bit, you know, loads of this stuff here. You've got to make sure that, that the garlic is 
as I was saying before on the other live stream that got interrupted by nobody watching, the amount of garlic you should be putting in is almost too much. Oh, by the way, when it, the live stream ended before, it was, uh, I think, 120 views. Normally, you, uh, I think uh, I'm over a thousand by that point. So something, something's not right tonight. It's still not quite right, but hopefully we'll muddle through it. Something exciting will happen. Squash the garlic. Get the garlic out. Cut the bad bits off the garlic. Oh, there we go. So, will that be enough garlic? Will it? No. Now we want another piece, I reckon. Another lovely piece of garlic. Now, I could do with the old uh, food bin over here, really. So I'm not having to keep walking across the room. It's not going to happen by looks of it. Oh come on, don't pop out my hands. Right, so. By pushing all of the meaty stuff to one side like that, and letting the oil drain back down, means I can cook with the same bit without burning the meat. But um, let's sort this garlic out. Hello. Burnt garlic, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be fantastic, but also exceedingly simple. Just like me. Are we any more people watching yet? No, we haven't. Maybe, maybe I've gone too far with the light now. Maybe the light's putting people up. Maybe, maybe new people are coming along thinking, oh, that guy's got too much light on him. I don't think I'll watch that. You come back down again. Uh, right. Garlic, very, very sticky on your digits. A lot of problems with it. Let me have a little read out some comments. You don't need to be doing that, do you? Too late did it anyway. Um, where's the towel though? Maybe it's because you're in vertical mode, although if people are watching on their phones, I guess it makes sense. Well, it's the vertical mode thing that um, uh, apparently is the ones you're for. But maybe everyone else is doing some vertical mode now. And that means that suddenly there's too much competition. It could be that. It could be that. Or it might just suddenly pick up, you never know. Anyway. You just kind of, uh, whoop, oh, hang on. I'm wondering if the watch number was broken because we're still getting silly comments. That's an interesting idea. Oh, that could be possible. That is a possibility, actually. I tell you when I was really find that out. When I get to the end of the live stream and I find that I've got a few new, new subscribers. But, um, let's get down to there. There's an awful lot of, oh, right, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, lots, lots of people are being quite um, silly. Uh, stream cut out. I could, oh, 
I cut I cut it out because nobody was watching it, which was it was just really confusing me and really concerning me. But actually, the, uh, the numbers didn't really appear to be going anywhere. But neither did the likes either. So I can only assume that, that people have had enough of me now. Um, what state do you live in? Asks Maxine. Uh, I live in a state of permanent optimism. I'm in Texas, says uh, Maxine. Uh, I had to go to the color view because the numbers were way down. Oh, yeah, okay, that was it, wasn't it? Also, uh, what is your subscriber goal? I don't really have a subscriber goal. I just quite like to have more people come along. It can give me a better opportunity to actually uh, turn this channel into something for when I get uh, too tired to mess around with cars, I reckon. 5 one Man City, let's go. It's me, Goofy. Do you remember me? Yes, I do, Goofy. Well, thank you for coming back. That's how my number's been recently. I'm back, says Carlos Diaz. Uh, Carlos Diaz, thank you. Let him cook. I'm going to cook, don't you worry. Maybe it's because you're... I've uh, just read that one. It's okay if there's not a lot of people watching. We, we care. We, uh, the OG fans. OG fans. Uh, if I keep the bell on, turn the last three days, I'll show you on YouTube shorts. I forgot to put the live chat on as well, actually. Let's give this... And let's just turn this... Oh, gosh. No, no wonder. Actually, I right. Glasses. Safety goggles. That's what you need. You just never know when it's going to do that, do you? <laughs> um, all right. I only get five viewers. I just stay in motion. What are you cooking? I'm cooking some mints at the moment. Do you go to work? Yes, I do, ABC. I got to go. Hope whatever you're making turns out good. I'm sure it will do, actually. Devin B says, is Gordon Ramsay's younger brother? That's right. That's that's exactly who I am. I'm Alan Ramsay, the man with a better um, temperament as well. Uh, ignore them. They're just being idiots. Huh? How was your date? It was okay. Uh, your ear, all right, it's quite red. Is it? It is actually, yeah, you're right. There they are. Do you know what? It's probably because I'm warm. If you get really warm, well, to, you know, I'm in a T-shirt. Um, so maybe it's because I'm warm. That might be all of that. Mike Tyson bit his ear, says Stephen Kennedy. That's... Mike Tyson, he forgot the rules of boxing and he thought that biting ears off was indeed part of what you're supposed to do to win the particular um, uh, session. My ear feels the same way. What type of fish do you own? Lots of different types, uh, Goofy Golfer. I need to go in my dance studio and enjoy your food. Right, okay, Star, you go and enjoy that. And uh, I'll just check something here for a second. Uh, I have got the right one. Yep, I have... Ah, but let's see what happens next. I'm going to get back up, going to stand back up over here and do some cutting of the onions. Cutting of the onions, that, um, that's a rather exciting thing, isn't it? But it is, it is ready to go. I've just missed a bit of garlic there as well. Does anybody like cooking, cut, cutting onions? Who likes cutting onions? Oh, I've had a thought, actually. Here's a possibility as to why there, there are fewer people in tonight. It could be because it's originally triggered by people who are going to come in. Um, and the ones that are going to come in are more likely to be the, the real regulars that actually know me. And uh, many of them are actually probably camping out at a car show, which means that Without them coming in to start with, nothing gets the other people in as well. So uh, the algorithm has to see that something is attracting a few people to turn up, even if it is only 20. Like a consistent 20 or 15 or, or whatever it happens to be. And if that doesn't start, it doesn't start. That could be the answer. But it doesn't matter. I'm sure it's just a one off. If it carried on going, then I could just carry on doing live streams and actually just do a bit more actual cooking instead. 
Some people might like that. Some might not. I need an excuse for my beer now. I definitely really want one. Um, Mike Tyson is a straight up thug killer with boxing gloves. Uh, we have a koi carp, a koi cross carp in the garden. They swim. We swim with them in the summer. Seeing as your number of views are on the quick stream earlier uh, of four views, I think the numbers are broken tonight because uh, you had more than that. Oh, four views. Well, what does it say at the moment to you? Because on, on mine it says 10. Now, I was trying to do this as a really simple bit of grub, and I think I'm already making it slightly more complicated than I wanted it to be. This uh, down here, uh, seven, yeah. This chat is quite enjoyable. Just a normal guy doing normal stuff. Says so Goofy. Do you know what? Most people don't call me normal, so that's interesting. On the earlier stream, minus four... Minus four. Right. Well, it's saying eight now, so maybe they've caught up. Maybe they've figured it out. You need pictures of a Tesco van again for views. <laughs> yeah, that that'll be it. That'll be the one. <laughs> Not minus. Mm. Just four. Oh, it's eleven. Now it says 11, and, well, it, you might be seeing 11 as well. I think, um, for me, I like it to be a bit more consistent, I suppose. If there's, if there's something just not there, then I want to know why. And that's distracting. I can't just enjoy doing the live stream when I think that something might be wrong with it. Oh, Barry Squatter is here. That's what we need. Without Barry Squatter, it can never work. Oh, gosh, I've missed most of the live. Brick wall, rebuilt except the coping stones. Cook the curry, bath, now lots of beer. Uh, you like, you look like the bubble has burst, says Jimmy Quinn. Oh, no, no, the earlier stream ended four. Says four, ah, right, says four. I've had a, I've had a reasonably uh, active day, uh, Barry Squatter. More cosy like this, isn't it? New ex-husband. Ah, oh, right. New ex-husband. Oh, that's an interesting one. I think that's what it says. Are you Australian? No, not the moment. You can tell I'm not Australian by the fact that I don't have an Australian accent and um, I'm not in Australia. I quite like to be though, Passion Passion Bunny. That's quite a cool name actually. Goofy Goober, where do you keep your beer? You know, they come around and steal it, aren't you? Where do I keep it? If I've got some, it's in that cupboard there. Sometimes in a box in this cupboard here. If I haven't got any, I just keep it in the shop until I can have some. Oh, right, I see. My back is in bits. Jeff Bridges came by and <laughs> said, we're done. I was apparently married to Jimmy, that's so he says. I must have been distracted that day. Now, just say this one here then. And Annie Rudolph, Annie Rudraj. Hi, sir, how are you? I'm okay. If you pick... If you pick up, if you put a fork in the toaster, <laughs> or the toaster in the bath, you will get views. Oh, you, you're probably right there. If it was Australian, there would be, <laughs> uh, there would be wood by a snake, possum, lizard, and a spider in the camera. I'm sure the views would be. Uh, I don't think they are. I think I think we need Barry Scrotter here in order for the the live streams to actually work. Oh, that one's gone already. That, that one. Ah, where are you from? Uh, so, no, not from. I am in England. 
I'm in England. That's where I live. Well, I mean, it is also where I'm from. But as I'm here now, I'm just going to say that's, that's where I am. Where about you? Where are you? Where are you? Where do you live? Where's you know what street do you live on? Don't actually tell me what street you live on. I'm not going to come around. But you know, I am interested in where people are. Oh yeah, because I said that didn't I? Which city in England? Manchester. There's a guy putting some farming streams up and putting up forks and trout. Oh, right, I see. Maybe that's where they've all gone then. They've all gone to see somebody uh, basically uh, toast themselves, aren't they? Well, I'm stuck here. Ah, I'm from India, sir. Denmark. Yes. Yay, Barry. Yes, good, Barry. Well done, Barry. Thank you very much, Barry. Thank you very much. What else are we doing with this now? Um, spice mix. But that onion's not really cooked enough yet. For some reason, this particular mince doesn't seem to have the same level of oil leaching out of it as the normal stuff does. Yet, it's supposed to be 25%. Uh, who else would be really disappointed that the meat isn't fatty enough? Except for me. I just don't want to burn these onions, you see. But you get them to the point where they're just about to burn, and then you switch them off. Then they're okay. If there ever was a night I don't feel like shaving, this is it. If, if there ever was a night where you don't feel like shaving, that is such an unusual thing to say. What are you cooking? asks Raj. Uh, smelling delicious. Even though through the camera I can smell it, well, that's uh, that's the magic of modern day science, isn't it? So far, it's mince and meat. No, it is meat. It's it's mince and onions and garlic. Soon to be added. Oh, there's a point. Ginger. We want to put some ginger in this as well, don't we? Um. You look like a more successful version of my geography teacher and biology teacher. How can you... Um, two people asking if I'm married. Yeah. Well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. There's two people that, that are going to be very disappointed there by the looks of it. My wife says she loves, this, uh, loves the curry this week and much better than last week. Yet, I preferred last week's more. That's always the way, isn't it? You can't please other people as well as yourself. You have to usually disappoint somebody else in order to please yourself. Now, how much ginger should I put in this? Should I put in just the right amount? Or edging on too much? I almost cut my finger then. You don't see that. Mmm, smell that. That smells good. That's ginger. Uh, cut this up. This has got much more ginger in than the previous curry that I made. Then again, actually, the previous curry I made was actually only a few hours ago, where I made a, a bean curry for, for everyone tonight. And it was quite nice, but it was a bit on the uh, mild side. And I like things a bit more on the, you know, mild, wild side, in fact. So, I did what I normally do. I make a mild curry for everybody to enjoy. And selfishly, I make it without it being too hot, which is kind of exactly the same thing as I've just said, but said in a slightly different way. And to make my bit nicer, I simply get a few chilies. You know, it's so easy. Bag of chilies, there we have them. One, two, three chilies I took out, cut them up, and sprinkled mine on the top. But 
As I've said before, the, chill is, the trouble is they're incredibly inconsistent. And you don't know whether this one is going to be not much more than just a capsicum that's all skinny or something that's going to make your head hurt. And I had exactly that. I had, it, was a, it had gone yellow, it was a yellow chilli. And it had gone stupidly spicy. But I'd already started eating it. And it was, it was so spicy, I had to do the old get some milk. Have a nice big glug of milk to go with it because it was, uh, it was uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, I tell you. Oh, that was uncomfortable. I just kicked the table leg. Let's see if we've got any more people coming in. More people. Um, yes, Mustard is married to Nigel. <laughs> well done, Barry. Uh, where were you born in England? Where was I born? Why do you need to know that? Now I feel like, I feel like you might be onto me there. How old are you? Asks Huntington X one, uh, one two nine seven. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how old I am once you've liked this live stream. Okay. If you do that, I'll tell you how old I am. Um, sir, in India we add ginger to almost every recipe, and that's with good reason. I think Hooked on Classics is back as well. Um, oh, Goofy Goofy Cooper says, uh, "What do you think of the people who say?" Evolution is fake. Why would they say that? Hello, Paul and chat. How are we tonight? Asks cars with JC and cars with JC. I have a theory about why cars with JC is doing so well. And I think it's the JC part. I think JC, the initials JC, is almost a guarantee of success. Uh, oh, I just liked, says Huntington X. One, two, Nine seven. Well, I am. I've never done this before. I always just skirt around the question. Not because it's private or anything like that, but I am 54. That's my age. And one day I'll be 55. And one day you'll be 55 as well. But then again, you might be already 55. But I doubt it. Because people who are 55 don't tend to ask other people how old they are. Or do they? Because I'm not 55 yet, but when I get to 55 on a live stream, I'm going to ask everybody who comes on how old they are. Okay? And I'm going to start now. Let's presume I'm already 55. Um, how old are you? Right, let's do it with everyone. Why not? Let's do it with everyone. Let's see whether it makes any good. Greenwood, how old are you? Um, Raj, how old are you? Um, Cars with JC, how old are <laughs> you? Uh, Huntington, how old were you? <laughs> and Goofy Gober, Goofy Goober, how old are you? Now, are those good questions? L Big Licks. Big Licks 007. Uh, sir, I don't think I like you. I was asking a question casually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah. Right, okay. Uh, hi, Tracy. I've just had a fantastic day. I was in Rover Heaven. And of course, of course, Joe, this is a new experience for you as well. Uh, how was your meet? I hope it went well. Will there be a video? There will be a bit of a video, but it's not going to be that much of one, really. Because I, I do find that when I'm amongst people, uh, with the exception of Boaty, I don't tend to film I only filmed with Boaty because I know he's going to say something that, that is going to surprise me. And um, I don't tend to do it at the moment. Oh, Greenwood, you're younger than me then. That's not fair. Well, it's not fair. It doesn't matter, does it really? Now, that was a joke, by the way. And I'm not really... I don't really want everyone... To... <laughs> Oh, Brenda McLaughlin, McLaughlin is, I'm old enough, which is kind of what I would think as well. Oh, uh, Tracy's afterburn is here as well. Uh, Cold Black. Cold Black. Hi. Hello, Cold Black. Sup, Windy Mustard Miller fans. 
I am 22 and just like your son. Oh, are you? You're just like my son. I don't have a 22-year-old son. I feel like, I feel, uh, oh. Right, what I'm going to do quickly now, I think, is I can't do this at the same time. So let's get the spice mix in there, which is just going to be quite simply uh, some this, the glass, hot curry powder. I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to add a quite big dollop of tomato puree. As, as I said, this is not this is not the, the way to make a proper curry. It's the way to make a, a quick curry. We get some water. And then I'm going to bung the spices in, bung the spices in, let it cook really, really quickly, and then cool it all back down again. That is too much. Put a bit more in. Now, that really does have a smell to it. And really quick with this, you don't actually burn it. Now it's taking the temperature right down to somewhere rather uncomfortably low. But just stir all this in and then it can just simmer whilst I read the comments from the thousands of people that happen to be in this live stream. And I know there aren't actually thousands of people here, but I'm going to assume that, well, maybe there should be. There should be thousands of people here because um, they've, just, they've just got sidetracked and gone somewhere else for a bit. But they'll be here, they'll be here. And <clears throat> by means of celebration, of my first live stream with over a thousand people watching, I am going to have a, a beer. <coughs> and of course, it's the same old stuff from Alan. Because. Uh, I like to have a beer, and uh, beer isn't that cheap, is it? So you've got to basically make the most things and just have something that that is affordable. Uh, so as I do this, I can feel the burps coming on, and I'm going to be having a proper good old burp fest as I drink this. Oh, gosh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> Not using an angle grinder. Uh. Yes. All oh, right. Okay. I'm not telling you my age. Say it's Barry Squatter, uh, but I've sorted my ear and nose hair out with today with pliers. Big licks says what you're cooking and that that was it okay so i'm not cooking now i'm going to be simmering for a while oh right i, I totally get what you mean about recording around people it feels odd but i've had to overcome it today recording at the show well I, did you do an awful, awful lot of footage then and also joe i mean was it really absolutely rammed because that was my fear of going down there, that you, you know, there'd be so many people, you wouldn't really even be able to get in, you wouldn't be able to move any of this sort of stuff. And, and then it turns into less comfortable than you want. Can I have some ask, asks MM <clears throat> to be one for X? Uh, you could if you really wanted to. You have to be exceedingly determined, though, because I'm going to presume that you are not close enough to actually be able to just pop over and have a little uh, spoonful. At cold black. A basic, very, very basic curry. Uh, 
You're a young man and not using an angle grinder yet. Oh, yes, I see, yeah. Uh, that's good, Joe. Feel feel the fear, but do it anyway. Uh, yeah, now my situation with that is often, it's not even fear of it, it's just I end up feeling a bit rude. If <clears throat> What I wanted to do, what my plan was going to be for Pride of Longbridge was I knew that Johnny Crook was going to probably come along, was get him to film me. I'd just be mic'd up and I would just wander around and I'd just talk to people. And then the I would just be talking and then he would just be filming. And I think that would have worked out as a much, much better way of doing it. And I felt a lot more relaxed then. Looking forward to seeing it, Joe. Nice, nice. I interviewed Aaron about Alfie as well. Ah, good. Yes. Uh, Aaron's, Aaron's a very, very lovely chap, isn't he? I think you will look more younger and cool in short haircuts. Uh, just a thought, says uh, Raj. Well, uh, that's, that is a thought. It's a, it's, it's a thought that I'm unlikely really to unfortunately take too seriously because I just don't really do haircuts. And your video goes live. Oh, the video goes live tonight. So it's live now, is it, Joe? That was quick. Wow. Normally, I find it takes me ages to get these kind of things edited. Right into the hot bath I go. You're cooking what? This curry. A really sort of um, rudimentary curry. It does smell great. It does smell great, yeah. Mm, Brenda, Brenda McLaughlin. Thank you. Where do you go for work? <laughs> Asks Huntington. <laughs> <laughs> what's your cash app, bro? What do you mean, what's your cash app? What's a cash app? Asks Tank. Now, I'm asking Tank, what do you mean by that? Uh, evening mustard and friends and enemies. So it's Stephen S. Paul. We haven't got any enemies anywhere, have we? I don't think we have. I mean, obviously, not. <clears throat> there will always be the occasional situation where somebody disagrees with somebody else, but it doesn't usually end up being enemies, though, does it? There's a PayPal link in the description if you wish to donate, Tank. Oh, I'm still waiting on that. Still waiting for somebody completely random to just say, there you go. I've got loads of this stuff. I don't really need any of it. Um, you might be able to use it more than me. You changed your profile pic picture called black. Okay, that's good. I use my angle grinder today for cutting and grinding. Grinding. Good. Thanks, Joe. How are you? But that's the point, Simone. You haven't used it for getting rid of nasal hair or toenails. And I think that was the point. Has anybody moved on to wire cutters for toenails or is it just me? Uh, hello, girl, dad, delicious, cooking up deliciousness. What's the time right now there, asks Raj. It is at 10 o'clock. I'm about to leave and come back and change my profile name. <laughs> then you'll have to tell us that you've changed and you're still the same person, aren't you? Mm. Ugh. It's taken Joe three hours to edit the video, sort through some 40 minutes of footage down to a 17-minute video, and then edit a, a thumbnail and get it uploaded. Uh, so what you basically did then was just leave your camera running uh, and then just decide afterwards. <clears throat> now you do that just in case you end up missing something that was really good, but you didn't have your camera running at the time, yeah? Um, and it does kind of make sense, but it does mean a lot more work afterwards, which is what I can't be bothered doing. That's why I try and just do little segments everywhere. I, I know when I'm going to say something and I can just start recording then. Uh, Shivam says, uh, bro, which country are you, which country you belong? Well, I'm in Britain. Same here. I was also waiting. What was you, what was you waiting for? Um, I, I've done the same as well. Oh, everyone's waiting, right? Okay. What did you cook? What did, I haven't finished cooking it yet. 
Please don't repeat the questions. Harry Seacombe looked mint in the vid the other day. Harry Seacombe. Good old Harry Seacombe. Miss Harry Seacombe. Um, oh, who's that? Wirula, Wirula Eeg. I am new. Well, if you're new, don't forget to like the live stream and subscribe to the channel. You may as well do. I'm sure there's nothing better that you can think of doing at the moment. It's too... The, oh, Barry indeed, India's work, in, Neil's works wonders on him. It's 2.30 in India, India. I think it's uh, late for me now. I should leave. Uh, and yeah, you should do. You, you need sleep. Uh, do you ever use pie cost? Asks Aaron Butler. What's pie cost? Do you ever use pie cost? Do you mean a podcast? Um, or something else? Well, I don't know anyway. Stephen OTF, I'm a new subscriber. Thank you very much, Stephen. And Siobhan, what are you, what are you uh, doing job? So what, about £2.80? Is that how much it costs for uh, pie cost? Oh, hang on. Are you asking how much it costs to buy a pie? Sorry, the, the question's ever so slightly confusing. Uh, yes, I have been doing a live stream daily. I've been, I have done one every day for the past week because they are, they're helping to build the channel. And when I get to 3,000 uh, watch hours, I can then upgrade, upgrade the channel somewhat uh, to have. Uh, channel memberships and super chats and stuff like that. That will all come in very, very handy for when I have live streams where lots of people are here. <clears throat> uh, tonight, there's not been lots of people here, which is a little bit unusual. It may just be a bit of a one off, or uh, the fact that on another live stream somewhere else, there's someone chucking toasters in the bath, which is obviously a very, very exciting thing to watch. OMG, I just fell out of my chair. Please tell me what you are doing, says Shivan. Well, I'm just cooking and chatting. That's that's really it. Uh, <clears throat> oh, right, I see. I see. It's a dad joke. I mean, I'm a dad, but I never knew that. Do you ever use a pie? Do you ever use a pie cost? Uh, maybe it's the word and I just didn't quite get, but thank you. What's the pie cost? Ah, right, about two pound eighty. Ah, <sighs> jokes aren't funny if you've got to explain them, though, are they? <laughs> but anyway, well done, well done. You got me. You got me. Have a pat on the back, Aaron. <laughs> and what are the timings of your live day live daily? Well, normally. Normally it is uh, 20 to 9, I will start. Uh, that's in this country. Uh, so you are um, about four hours ahead, something like that. A very good evening, Mustard and everyone, says Andrew Buttigieg. What are you married? You mean, am I married? Yes, I am. Genuinely, I think the numbers are broken and will refresh tomorrow. Uh, uh, you have similar numbers as usual, uh, says Tracy. I hope so, because obviously um, that's um, it'd be very difficult to really do something like this successfully if nobody's watching. Play button says code black and subscribe. Thank you very, very much indeed. Has anybody else subscribed tonight? That will actually give me the answer as well, because yesterday, yesterday's live stream brought in 40 subscribers. I think it was 40 or maybe a bit more, but then a few drop off. And I think what happens is what I find, what I find a little bit fascinating about uh, the numbers on the live stream is that when you finish the live stream, and it tells you that you've not had any views. 
And then over the course of a few hours, it goes up, even though it's already been finished with. I think, I think that happens with the subscribers. They often don't get counted until they can be verified or something. And so there's nobody there. There's nobody watching, but the subscribers going up. And then they drop back down a little bit because obviously there'll be a few bots or something on the go that subscribe to the channel, but soon get hiked out. Oh, right. Hang on. Um, uh, Malcolm Katergerg is from Canada. Thank you, Malcolm. Welcome. Emily's here and says hi and probably says it again. Yes, she does. Wait, what happened? I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, welcome to the live stream, uh, uh, Emily. Uh, yes, I think tomorrow there will have been a reboot of the YouTube server and there will be views and the subs. Just act normal. Whatever normal is, I haven't got a clue what normal is, have I? I, ain't got a clue. I, I never will know. I don't think I do need, I don't think I need to know what it is either. Uh, hello, oh, Jake Official's back as well. Jake Official's a subscriber to the channel, aren't you? You you got muster, musters, mustards, All right? Uh, Sabrina's here. Hello. What's your name? What's your name, Captain Mustard? Isn't that funny? Asking me what my name is whilst addressing me at the same time. Are you proud of being British? Asks Can Come. I am. I am. I am very proud of being British. And the trouble is, many people aren't proud to be British, and they should be. I think you should be proud to be uh, whoever you are, wherever you are. Why shouldn't you be? Why should there be any shame uh, in being who you are or what country you're from? In some countries, it's common to use de grinders to remove toenails or die grinders. It's true. I bet it is. <clears throat> now, this is a joke, I'm sure. Tsunami Strike. Hello, I've been in a wheelchair for 12 years now and I really wanted to thank you for making me get out of my wheelchair to turn your live stream off. <laughs> nice one, thank you. <laughs> uh, your crazier viewer is ever back. Well, you keep coming back, Jake. You are welcome here. Uh, keep apping, says can come. No such thing as normal. Oh, we all agree on that, don't we? I'm now installing mods for Gmod. I'm proud to be British, says Sabrina. Good for you. Always let the weird shine through. And in the, in well, some instances, it, the, the weird is so shiny, you can't dull it, even with the, the most persistent of uh, put-downs or insults. <laughs> Can you say Betty? Yes, I can. And I just did. Oh, gosh. Am I going to be in trouble for that? Funny vids, message retracted. Will you be, will I go to India if I had the chance? Asks Raj. Yes, I would. Why wouldn't I? I, I mean, that would be a proper culture shock. Because India is such a different place to what Great Britain is. But it's also a fabulous place. A really fabulous place that I've never been to. And maybe I never will do. I mean, my age, um, I should have done. I should have been many a place, but I haven't done so far. Oh gosh, maybe something will happen where suddenly I'm, I'm going around the world and India would be one place I would love to visit. I just don't fancy um, driving there. Or being driven. I'm a mog, says Barry Scrotter. <laughs> um, I bet you are. He does create content, says Mr. McCack. What did Mr. McCack say? If you were, <laughs> or if you were young, would you content create? <laughs> uh, sorry, I was joking, says Tsunami Strike. Here's a point. Why don't I do? If I can remember, I need to have voices for people. So, um, Tsunami Strike can be, I was sorry about that, I was joking. I didn't mean to do that. I know it was a joke. It was a good joke. I quite liked it. The only thing is I will forget which voice goes with which one, which might make it even better, come to think of it. Funny Vince asks, how are you? I'm 
Well, I'm fine. How are you, funny vids? Uh, how, do you make funny vids or do you just put bits of funny bits, vids, bit, bit, do you put bits of funny vids together from other people's bits of funny vids or do you make your own funny vids that you make out of your dids? Or is it just a title? I'm a bot, says me, uh, me, me, Mr. Mika. And that is proof that you're not, isn't it? Because no bot says that. They're trying to pretend not to be one. I'm back. I went to watch Bolty's journey home. Always fun to watch a perpetually skint person spend seven quid on two jars of mustard. <laughs> did he? Did he really? Seven pound and two jars of mustard. I mean, that sounds like a joke, but I reckon it's probably true. I reckon he did do that. Uh, can you do a cartwheel? Whether I can or not, I'm not going to do one because I have no urge to do one and I have no urge to do one. Uh, well done, Tsunami Strike. Well, I, I said that the other day. Can you, uh, can you shout out my son? His name is Salty Balls. But, um, you know, you bowl. Is it bowl, bowls? Bowls, yeah. Um, what, a, what an interesting name that is. Yes, indeed. You, you could have changed that so that uh, I could have actually properly said it correctly, like salty balls. Sabrina, my dad has gone to India and told me if I ever, if I do have to be careful uh, about what I touch, to be careful about what you touch. B.I. or B.L. Bang on comment, mate. Who's B.L.? Which Oh, Black Lions. Okay, yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> I'm proud to live in West Brom. I'm proud to know the Polish people. I like them. That's nice. Tyler's back. Uh, Tyler, what's must have been up to today? <laughs> uh, I can't get away with anything with Tyler about. He will basically report everything. Everything I do. And if he doesn't do it, I will. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. Chooksbury mustard and some horseradish sauce from a farm shop farm shop service station. Oh. Uh, no fuel in the car, I nearly run out. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> well, I mean, we all have a different priorities, I suppose, don't we? Um, I haven't seen the video, but I, I've, I've just seen the thumbnail just before I started. But the thing is, actually, um, <clears throat> the will he get home kind of video is always one that people like to see. Because there must be an awful lot of people that, that will watch your video and just hope you properly fail at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why those kind of videos get the views <clears throat> ah right because most of the stuff um, and water are dirty in India ah yes I see <clears throat> I can confirm can confirm that you will most definitely love food here the most I'm sure you're right <clears throat> One time I was in Walmart and my big sister threw it back and I started dancing and my mum did not care. Threw what back? Threw, sit, sister threw it back. What, what was, did she project our vomit? Sabrina, it's, it's the mentality of some people have informed over here. India is not the same now. Oh. I don't have the time to watch all of Boaty's content now. He's been up to seven nights and vids and stuff. But the thing is, who really does the... That's, that's the problem if you're following quite a few uh, people on YouTube. Keeping up with everybody is actually impossible. Unless, of course, it is your job. And even if it is your job, you probably would find it difficult to keep up with absolutely everybody. 
because it would be impossible because absolutely everybody would include absolutely everybody and with live streams and videos as well um and, and it you know it's, it does a good job of actually doing some videos as well as live streams because i certainly find it difficult later on i'll be editing a video um because because i I still haven't really quite decided what the, the magic number of videos you should do a week actually is. Because I last week, I, I was a little bit low on uploads. And my viewers just plummeted. Like, I had, uh, for the, I had the lowest viewing days in a year. And that frightened me. Because I had a couple of days where I didn't post something. Although I have an awful lot of videos that just keep on getting views, like the car reviews and stuff like that. Once you're in this um, uh, YouTube uh, cycle of feeling that you've got to upload stuff in order to get somewhere, it does make you panic when, when you, your numbers drop a little bit, as you found out tonight. Mustard has been spotted chucking an e-scooter in the river in the town centre. <laughs> uh, yes, too much content. I watch what I can. A face mask. Tyler has, uh, has he stolen another one from the little girl? Uh, yes, I guess that's true. I watch the live streams at sometimes, uh, but I might as well be a video because I can't keep up with the comments. Uh, yeah, well. <clears throat> Live streams only work at the time, don't they? They don't, they don't really work as, as videos. Although, um, it depends on who it is, I suppose. I mean, the thing I like about, the thing I quite like about Bolte's uh, live streams is that he rambles on. Is that, you know, I've, he's going to run out of anecdotes, that's for sure. But I, I do like the way he can just talk and just keep on talking. I, I find it quite fascinating. Ah, now, who do we have here? Tyler, um, no, sorry, Blair is here. Hello, Blair, welcome back. Not seen you for a little while, I guess you've been busy. Uh, you say, hi, Mustard, and I say, hi, Blair. Uh, I get I get that you do consistent content, but if all that filler content no one wants to watch, there has to be a line. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, people like different things, though, don't they? I mean, on my videos, I try and keep the editing so it's as such where nothing really lingers for too long. I, I like to think, I, I want to make something that if I hadn't seen it myself, I'd want to watch it. Um, I want to make the videos that nobody else is... I want to make the videos that I haven't seen on YouTube that I wish were there. That's kind of how I see it. And then, as a test... I've periodically I'll watch one of my own videos from maybe a year back. And if I don't like it, then I know it's time to tweak. So every year you might see a little tweak here and there. <clears throat> I do watch live streams, says the Greenwood. If I miss one, and good thing you can watch it, speed it up and skip things. Can't do that live. No, the only thing you can do is keep skipping off to do something else and then just skip it along a little bit. It... <laughs> Would anybody have pointed this out about the way it says this? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> uh, who thinks Bolty has a hidden fetish? <laughs> <laughs> that is clearly not just me who hears it that way then is it <clears throat> sometimes I tweak my video titles uh, says Hooked on Classics and Blair I, I've been busy these days with my studies and a lot of exams and that that that's the best uh, thing you could say and that's what I thought that you've been busy doing the, the actual important stuff and not to get distracted with things that aren't really going to make any difference to your life. So you're doing the right thing there. You're cage. Uh, you're actually very good at editing, uh, says Black Lines. Oh, thank you very much. My ears will go even more red after that. 
on PM. Your content is well paced, so if you have a subject matter ready to go, that you want to win. Mm. Yeah. Well, I like them, and if I like them, then that's a that's a start, isn't it? I don't twerk. Uh, Mustard was also spotted spotted in a charity shop stealing teddies that look suspicious of the like cabbage and poppy. <laughs> cabbage and poppy. I, I do I do quite like the idea of making these toys a bit famous. Um, but we talked about uh, cabbage and cabbage and poppy doing a live stream but it would probably just really be so chaotic that nobody could really stick with it uh tyler it's saturday night what you've been up to did you take your dog for a new <laughs> did you take your dog for a new tattoo <laughs> uh, uh would you rather eat a brick or a matter baby I'm missing something there, aren't I? Eat a brick or, or a matter baby. Mm. Dunno. Dunno. I don't really fancy either of them, to be honest. Um, it's you that says it out loud, though, Mustard. <laughs> Clack. <laughs> it winds him up. <laughs> it does. He just says, I don't, I don't say it like that. I don't say it like that. <laughs> That um, time in his car, and I said, what's that thing in front of you there? Oh, what? Well, that there, the, the, the one with the time. Oh, it's a clack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's got a face tattoo, Barry. Tyler, the teddies are the front. Uh, specific furries contain psychoactive drugs. Oh, there's a point. Imagine if the thumbnail from before uh, with two soft toys would make some people think, oh, he's one of these furries, let's not watch that. But then again, it started again with, with nothing, and uh, nothing's happened. Mustard Boaty will never run out of BS. That's why I like him. I don't think he will either. Uh, you're the only good streamer on the, at the moment, says uh, Tsunami Strike. Well, that's interesting to know. That is interesting to know. Thank you very much. There are the other people doing YouTube live streams at the moment then. Mm. What? Well, uh, normally Pingu Concord goes over and has a look to tell me what's been going on, what is going on. He's, he's basically my reporter for other live streams. So if anybody, if anybody with the Tsunami Strike, such as yourself, fancies having a look uh, see what they're doing, and you can come back and tell me, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate that. Oh, we have 17 likes now, 20 viewers. So it's not a terrible amount, is it? I'm sure that, I'm sure that, um, well, 20 of these people are people that um, I, I enjoy having here regularly anyway. Mustard, have you been put? Have you been putting shop lifted hair products in again? You, how many hair products do you think I've ever used? Be honest. Do you think I've even ever used any hair products? Be honest. Do you? Do you? All oh, right, I see Blair says, but I miss you all. And Mr. M always watches your videos and lives and tells you what happens in them. Oh, that's rather nice. Thank you. Uh, I so want to play my PlayStation 3, says Cold Black. Well, you can do. You are allowed. You, you're allowed to do that if you want to do it. There's nothing stopping you. It is half past ten as well. Oh, gosh. That means collectively between this live stream and the other one, I have been going for not too far, but two hours anyway. <clears throat> How did Mrs. Mustard's KGB training go the other night? Uh... Did she come on with some new tricks? Oh, she's she's always got some new tricks. Um, I best not ask, really. Uh, what do you get? It, oh, I know. This looks like a joke. What do you get if you cross a donkey with an onion? Asks Hooked on Classics. Uh, 
a piece of us that makes your eyes water. Mm. Now that, that is a joke. That's not the kind of joke I would have thought you'd find funny, Simone. Cancun, what's going on, big boy? <laughs> oh, Dino Dad, hello, gang. Nope, can't see the other lives at the moment. Oh, that is interesting. Maybe there is some amazingly big glitch on the go that nobody's telling you about. Maybe, in actual fact, as a joke, when I said that this is the first ever live stream I've ever done where 1,000 people are actually watching, maybe they really are. Maybe there really are 1,000 people watching, and my subscriber count has now gone up to 3,000. You never know. Well, you, you'd know. You'd know. But don't tell me, as, as normal, don't tell me. Just because it's always, it's one of those exciting moments, a bit like Christmas used to be when you open up your presents. I can't even play my PlayStation because at my granny's house, hmm. uh, a man says to his wife, take your jacket off, I'm going to the... Oh, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I've, I've heard this one, I think. Um, a man says to his wife, take your jacket, I'm going to the pub. And she says, oh, am I coming? And she says, no, I'm going to turn the heating on. <clears throat> Do you think the comments are creative asks can come? Some of them are, yeah. Some of them, not always, but uh, many of them actually are. Uh, Mustard, can I gently pull your earlobes and whisper into your ear? You can, yeah. You can do that. Of course you can. I'm not going to let you, but you could actually do it if I did let you. You are. Uh, you, says can come, don't know why. Tyler, what would you say? Uh, oh, Pingu Concord is here. Uh, your main competition tonight is a very is an angry woman possibly sitting on the toilet. Oh, how can I possibly compete with that? I mean, that really is a, an angry woman sitting on the toilet. That is going to pull the viewers in, isn't it? Ah, uh. <clears throat> Eliza is here. A uh, resident cool person. Welcome, Eliza. Pingu, mm -hmm. hi, mate. Oh. Uh, the next live is of another, is of a duvet pillow headboard and no one there. See, people could be watching that in anticipation of what's about to happen, couldn't they? Uh, people really enjoy your personality. That's why they come regularly, says Can Come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Captain Mustard, non-binary thing, remember me. What do you mean I'm not? I'm not a non-binary thing. I'm very much a binary thing. Uh, Stephen Kennedy. I uh, must read that as Stephen Hawking then for some reason. Code, why don't you clean your house or rake your granny's yard? Uh, well, um, <clears throat> that's, that can be a point because uh, often people just get so obsessed with just playing on games that they, they forget to do some of the real things. I'd have to say it's all... I'd say it's all going to be okay, Mustard. Well, that what? I'm, I'm, the trouble is I'm, I'm so focused on the previous comment, or the one I'm reading, that I completely forget what happened just a minute ago. I haven't joined in a while. I know Lisa. All I can say is, wow, says Dino Dad. But why? Why is that? Why is the only thing you can say is wow? Uh, but obviously, before you, before the only thing you could say is wow was all I can say is. Uh, so at that moment, you could say something else, and then you got stuck on wow, and nothing else is going to happen. And I fear that no explanation is going to follow. <laughs> I hate brick walls. Uh, they're about as uncreative as you can get, uh, as you can get, but very, very real. I will send pictures of before and after of the brick wall, Barry. I'm still waiting for Boaty's hot tub and bikini stream. There's only two people that want to watch that, Black Lines, and I know that you're not one of them. 
and neither am I. Have you ever met a subscriber in real life? Asks Cancom. Well, yes, I have. I, I think um, today I was actually in the company of about um, 12 or 15 of them. And uh, when I go to car shows, I end up meeting quite a lot of them. People come to the yard where I work. Um, I've met them on the streets. Not subscribers to this channel so much, but as the other one. I have a funny joke, say Tsunami Strike. Let's hope it is funny. Let's hope it is. Let's, let's do it, shall we? My dog, called Walter, went into the pub and shit. Then he rubbed it all over the floor. My, my dog called Walter went into the pub. Hello. This is me. That's you. I don't know what's going on there. I don't get the joke. Maybe I'm. Uh, I don't. Know. Hi, Barry and Boss Lady. Yes, Tracy, the Boss Lady. That's we, we can all refer to her as the Boss, the Boss of the live stream. In fact, you could even argue that that she's the Boss of me. Because she gets rid of things that I don't even see. I mean, how cool is that? How bossy is that? That's how much I have to believe in what the Greenwood can do. Pingu, better than some confused guy in a badly applied makeup and a crappy wig. Uh, I don't know why, the, the, the loads of O's basically. Two fish in the tank. One looks to the other and says, How do you drive this thing? My grandpa. Tell me this junk now. Told you that now, yes. Rainbow Slug. Now that's an interesting name. Rainbow Slug. I think it's a woman, but not 100% definitely angry. Hello. Green and Green's van. Green and Green van. Remember, if anyone's seen a, remember, if anyone's seen a Green and Green's van, remember to put a yellow love hat. Don't forget, it's quite important. <clears throat> I once had a racing snail. I tried removing his shell to make him a bit faster, but unfortunately, he went a bit sluggish. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. What's up? Nothing. Okay, that's good then. Don't mess, don't, with, move it. don't mess with the light. Don't move it. Don't move. I'll come up and see you in a bit. You seem interesting to talk to from what I have seen, says Cancun. Thank you very much. Exactly, Andrew. Right. Uh, can I pour my beer into your nostrils and then drink it out of your ears? Um, no, because it won't come out of my ears. That's the thing. Although there is supposed to be a link between, well, I said there is, there is a link, but it's 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 not so clear that you you can do that. And does beer taste better once it's been up someone's nose and their ears? Does it? I mean, I think it'll probably. If you think that the beer tastes better after that, then you're probably consuming the wrong beverage. Mustard, if you went to prison, uh, how much would you plug? How much could you plug? Oh, is this a proper prison? Have you been to prison, uh, like Tyler? Because that, that sounds like prison talk to me. And it is, um, it is something I don't really know about, I'm afraid. I can't answer that. I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll go for six. Hello, boys, says Smelly Holes. For once, you're wearing a T-shirt with designs on it today. Well, it's not for once. It's uh, it just happens sometimes, but not very often. And oh, you are such a pretty girl. Is that do you mean me? Your glasses smell like roses. Oh, Sam Nutt is here and says hi. Hello, Sam Nutt. Uh, <clears throat> You have the coolest eyebrows in the whole of planet Pluto. Well, Pluto's a dwarf planet, isn't it? So maybe we can't actually uh, call it that. We just call it Pluto. 
Mohammed Tahir at car uh, uh, at at Mohammed. Uh, hello, bro. Which is your country? I am in Great Britain, Mohammed. Uh, <clears throat> you're kidding, right? I'd watch Bolty in a bikini in a hot tub. It would be an absolute train wreck. It would be. <laughs> well, how much you'd have to be paid to do something like that? Hi, Black Lines. Who are you? I'm very interested in what you have to say. BL is both his fetish or yours. Uh, do you think tigers and cheetahs should be given a free permit for Amphor? <laughs> Um, Tay Tay's version. Tay Tay's version. Did you hear Jojo mm-hmm. uh, Swinney's sewer song? Is that a joke? Is that a joke or is that a real one? I don't know. Poppy and Cabbage Line, hello. Uh, have you ever felt like a god? Beer or coffee? Have you ever visited the USA? That, too many questions all in one go there, really. Um, uh, beer or coffee? I'll do that one. Yeah. Um, Beer or coffee? Both. But, you know, there's only... But the problem with the coffee is that when you've had a few, you don't want any more. Whereas beer, uh, the problem with that is that you do. Is that right? Would you agree with that? That that could be considered the problem with beer. Is that you always want coffee. Whereas coffee, you don't. I don't really fancy this curry yet. So I'm just going to put more water in it to stop it from burning. The usual thing, just let it simmer a little bit more. I may end up just bunging it in some tubs and eating it on another day. Um, and it's also probably almost time for me to go. Which may be a bit of a disappointment for some who have only just joined, such as Bev Coles. Insignia, oh no, not insignia. Uh, X Sigma, X Sigma official says hello. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Please like that stream. Uh, Bet calls. How many cars have you sprayed yourself? Seeing as you uh, have your own sprayer, uh, none is the answer, Bev. Uh, I've I've done some bits of spray work with um, rattle cans. That's it. And a couple of jobs I did, I was quite pleased with. So far, when I had a bit of spare money last year, I bought the spraying gear. But I haven't got around to using it at all. And I, and I must do it because otherwise it will be a waste, won't it? And so to put a decent coat of paint on a car so it looks nice would be a very, very handy skill indeed. That's a like to acquire. Uh, yes, hello from India. Yes, uh, uh, X Sigma. I, I am British indeed. Did Tyler Kennedy collaborate with Slash from Guns N' Roses? We are blessed. Uh, Tyler, oh. Oh, well, I can hear some noises going on outside. The sound of sirens. Sounds like loads of them. Yeah. No, I thought it was the TV, but it wasn't. Because the back window's open. There must be an awful lot of something mm, rather unfortunate for somebody going on somewhere. I'm sorry I scare all the men. I'm so forceful. Still, I go shy. I don't get it. Found the wig, man, Andrew. There's a Russian boaty type dealer selling uh, uh, selling live now. I love your live stream, says Tay Tay Versions. Thank you. Uh, Mon Chit says, hello, stupid. Hello. hello. Welcome to the live stream. 
Uh, you are amazing, says Count Con. Thank you very much. And uh, ex uh, Sigma uh, official, as the kind of golf, that, uh, the kind of uh, flag that you may see on a golf course there. Mr. M, 1899. Blair, are you on your phone? Ah. I thought you were coming to take your phone. You have an exam on Monday that you need to study for. Mr. M. Oh, right, I see. Yes. Uh, please don't repeat. Yes. Uh, Jojo Syria is a real person. I've never heard of that real person, I'm afraid. Come to Comrade Bolte's Car Emporium. We do a deal tar. I've not been to prison yet, but I would like, but I used to visit my dog. When she was in there, apparently she was controlling a wing. Uh, Boaty would make a good wiggy, also known as Jasper Carrot. Uh, bye, I'll be back, thank you. Uh, oh, you're in trouble, yes, Blair, off you go. I didn't think you had any anything to uh, do. Right. Oh, uh, Bev. Uh, doing that now. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Oh, th oh gosh, we've got 27 watchers now. That's the highest, it's highest it's been all evening. And uh, the assumption has been that the the numbers are broken. Maybe they'll fix themselves because I'm about to leave. And I am. Gosh, look at the time. It is quarter to eleven. I should be going off and doing something else quite soon, really. Uh, I need to try that kit in the summer. You're such a peaceful girl, thank you. Right, okay, uh, Blair, come. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, come back when you don't have other things to do. I've never been to the USA, no. I've had five assassination attempts because of my last name. Uh, so do you think you'll ever change the colour of your MGF? Newest steering wheel, nice upgrade. Well, that was a, a discussion I was having with myself fairly recently because uh, silver doesn't really do it for me. I think silver just isn't the right colour. It doesn't look terrible. Uh, but I'm tempted to do something that really most people would suggest you shouldn't. And that's to spray the colour that it isn't standard at all. And just get some strange and garish colour that many would say would spoil it. But then I thought about a different kind of colour altogether. One that isn't garish, but just an old colour. A bit like, um, well, that, that kind of colour. Well, that, that kind of colour, yeah. The kind of green that used to be on 1960s minis is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, half, yeah, half 11. Those sirens heading back to the Peak District. Bolty's, Bolty's got Jason pinned up against the wall. Diesels were mentioned. We don't come in here for the food. We come in here because you're a wise guy. Thank you. Oh, you agree, Bev. All right, thank you. Yes. Or CMU red. Bolty, Bolty, Bolty versus the versus the beige bomber. Uh, Lotta Kush, Kushkin. I'm from Finland. How's your day been? Thank you very much. It's been okay. It's been quite good. Seeing as I'm drunk now, I'm off out to sink a few barges on my bike with a petrol engine. Food philosophy and fishes. Hmm. That could be the, the why not at the tea what? That will be the title of my next live stream, which hopefully um, I will be much more comfortable about seeing the numbers on. And for the moment, uh, nobody's getting mad at you, can come, don't worry. So, what, some say mustard used to be a goth fancier. Oh, what's wrong with that? Right, anyway, I am going to end now because. Uh, it is quarter to 11 and I do need to either eat this or put it away and do a little bit of video editing and probably put uh, a top one now because 
it's actually starting to feel a bit nippy. So I would like to say thank you to everyone who is here. Um, Goth fans, you're absolutely nothing. Uh, right, yeah, so so um, uh, thank you to absolutely everybody who is here and everyone who's here that I've not been able to see. And uh, tomorrow night, Beth, uh, Beth, Bev, uh, I have a joke, a blind man asked for someone to roast him. He got roasted, but he says, I'm, I'm sure you saw that coming now. <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow, I'm on Twitch, yeah, Twitch, okay. Right, so uh, shout out Bloom Poppers. There we go, bullying poppers, like the live stream. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, extra special thanks to the Greenwood as well, of course. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.